The man who uh, granted permission for that giant blimp for that giant blimp to fly across the London skies, Mayor Sadiq Khan, is having a very public spat with Mr. Trump, as we were discussing with Robin. The president called him in a tweet a stone cold loser. Khan now tells CNN he'd expect that sort of thing from an 11 year old. Clarissa Ward just interviewed the mayor, and she joins us now from City Hall. What more did he tell you, Clarissa Sadiq Khan? Well, you know, it was interesting, Hala, because we definitely pressed him on whether it was appropriate uh, for the mayor of London to write an editorial comparing President Trump to uh, some of the worst 20th century fascists on the eve of a major three-day state visit from the president. But really, Mayor Khan showed no signs of backing down. He is uh, very much committed to continuing this feud. He's sticking to his guns and, uh, and believes in the importance of what he was trying to convey through that editorial, but we started out, Hala, by asking him what was his reaction when he read President Trump's tweet calling him a stone cold loser. Take a listen. That's sort of how you'd expect from an 11 year old, you know, uh, but look, it's for him to decide how he behaves, not for me to uh, respond in a, in a like manner. I think it's, 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 you know, beneath me to do childish uh, tweets and uh, name calling. What made you decide to write what you wrote about him though? Because some people will say, hold on, you were egging him on. I'm quite worried uh, about what I'm seeing across uh, uh, Europe, across my country where you've got uh, far right parties, a far right movement that in previous years was on the fringes, that's now been normalized and mainstreamed and they see Donald Trump as the poster boy. Some people will say though the UK is in a moment where it needs to be pragmatic. It needs to look ahead to a bilateral trade deal. Do you worry at all that your comments could potentially jeopardize the UK's working relationship with the US in the future, particularly if President Trump is re-elected? For those people who say it's wonderful for us to leave the European Union, even without a deal, because we'll have a, a good deal with the USA. This demonstrates why putting all your eggs in the Donald Trump basket is unwise because, you know, we know he, his mood changes from hour to hour. Uh, he can be upset by an article in a Sunday newspaper to the extent where he resorts to name calling from Air Force uh, One. Now, Mayor Khan did say, however, that notwithstanding this spat that he may be having with President Trump, uh, he loves America, the UK loves America, uh, and he likened it really to a best friendship, saying that, you know, when your best friend does something that you believe is wrong, uh, if you are a good friend, you will call them out on it. But, of course, there are others who feel that his comments were inappropriate uh, and that in some way he was encouraging, uh, or, you know, a, a response like this from President Trump, Paula.